It's just beautiful interplay down this wing, isn't it? That you can get going. Let's pull him back so we can drop it back. Bring that inside. Over his head. Bang. Oh, what a goal. This is feeling really, really fluid now. Hi, guys. I'm Garitas Doritas. And today is the second episode of Tactical Trials, where I try out your custom tactics, give you my thoughts, and let you know what I will change. Let's get into it. Today's custom tactics have been sent in by subscriber Chickenfoot. These are a set of 5212 custom tactics, and these have been formatted very differently to how you would generally see a 5212 set up. Let me show you the tactics. Right off the bat here, you can see that these are definitely to some extreme, so let me quickly fire you through them. So the defensive style is on balanced, the defensive width is on 20, so I can see he's going for that very compact, not getting cheesed with any through balls through the middle. Depth is as high as it can go at 100. I've never gone this high with the depth, so I'm definitely going to have to be very wary of kind of the opponent's attacks and not letting them in too easily, but very aggressive on the defence. Build up play, fast build up, chance creation, direct passing. These are a very welcomed kind of pairing. I normally opt for balanced over fast build up, but fast build up definitely does have a place in this game. Direct passing is obviously just standard for pinning the opponent back. Offensive width is at one, so as narrow as narrow can be. I'm assuming this is definitely going to lend to a tick attacker kind of style of play. Chickenfoot himself has also said that he likes kind of those quick short passes, so that is why the width is so low. I sometimes find the strikers can get in each other's way if their width is too narrow. So I'm curious to see how this plays out in game. Players in the box is on seven. I feel like this is as offensive as you can get on the players in the box before it's kind of just uh, trying to get back in the game tactic. So still very aggressive, but not too crazy on the players in the box. Corners and free kicks, chicken foot ops for two. I'm personally just going to put these on one anyway because it doesn't affect the tactics. It literally just is how my team will set up on corners and free kicks and one is my preference on these. Player instructions, again, I'll fire through these because they're not my own. There's not really much I can talk you through. It's more just seeing how these play in game. So the two strikers are both on getting behind and stay forward. The cam is on stay forward and free roam. Free roam being a little bit of an, an anomaly there, not something you often see. Both centre mids are on stay back while attacking and cover centre. So we have some defensive responsibility in the team. The right back or right wing back I should say, and the left wing back are both on balanced, completely balanced, no run type on this, this is all just standard. Then the left centre back and right centre back are on stay back, which is the default. And then again, another anomaly is the middle centre back is going to be on join the attack. That's specifically why I've put Busquets in as my middle centre back, just because he is going to be playing that kind of DM role. Chickenfoot has basically said he wants to have that sort of 4 one 2 narrow vibe, but with a little bit more of a defensive sort of cover. So his logic is, if I have a centre-back pushing, but then dropping back in at centre-back, I guess that's what he means by that. So interesting instruction there, having the middle centre-back will join the attack. Going to be playing more of a DM on the offence, but a centre-back on the defence. Be interested to see how that actually works in-game. The goalkeeper is just unbalanced. This is the team I'll be using to try out these tactics. I'll have Liao and Levin up front, Salarin at Cam, Llorente and Pedri as my two centre-mids, and then Busquets, Tamori, Smalling as the centre-backs, Alba and Quadrado as the wing-backs, and of course Chesney in goal. Let's get into it and see how these play. First game, let's see how we go. 100 depth activated. Big Chris, there's one. That's why I put my corners on one. I really don't feel the need to have it any higher. I think that high depth is really helping the opponent rush and get us the ball back sooner. That's two. Very nice. So far, so good. Okay, this guy's gone. We'll do another one before I tweak anything, but so far, it just seems like a really good aggressive tactic. Very strong back line. Very good team in general, my word. He's even got the team of the Adenio. Lovely play. Oh, it's a good save as well. That team of the year could well bailed him out of it there. Ah, we've conceded on the counter. Oh, come on. Couture's absolutely saving his bacon right now. Doesn't feel like one width on the attack, if I'm honest. Like, look where my wing back is. He's right by the byline. So you still have width. It just means your middlemen are just sort of easy to sort of link up like that. And again, his goalie's bailed him out. 
bail this out. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to resort to the mechanics. Tutorial on the channel, by the way. Ah, uh, that's a shame. The high depth really showed there, didn't it? Yeah, see, I don't like how often I'm having to run backwards chasing runners. That just doesn't feel safe enough at the back. So, we lost that one 2-1. First thing I'm going to do is bring that depth down because both of the goals came off of my line being too high. With a lower depth, I don't think we'd have conceded in that, to be honest. So there are three things that I want to change to this. They're just minor changes. Two, I feel, will actually make it perform better. The third is more of a personal preference thing. So the first thing I think is probably more necessary is the depth. I think bringing this down to around 65 is probably going to be still aggressive, but not kind of giving them runs through. The second thing that I think will definitely just help is on the cam, I just think having him on stick to position, always being there in the hole to drop the ball back to, that's one of the real strengths about having a cam in this game. So I don't really like them ever really drifting away from that central position. And the preference thing is the fast build-up. I just prefer balance and building up a little bit slower. But fast build-up definitely helps to those that are a bit more direct and like those wing backs committing really really quickly but me personally balance is a personal preference the width being on one it doesn't seem to be a hindrance whatsoever because the wide men still stay wide so you've still got width so that's not an issue at all so i'm going to go into another game with it set up like this and i think we won't be giving away any easy goals with this setup and it should just be a little bit easier on the interplay and the attack as well let's get into it okay Going into the next game with the tweaked tactics, we're up against a very, very strong team. Let's see how these hold up. This guy's just trying to run through me in a straight line here. <laughs> very nice goal there from Levan. Good start. Lovely. Lovely. Seems absolutely crisp on the attack. Really, really nice now. Just having your cam sitting there as a cam makes a big difference. Because if you don't have them doing that, you kind of lose all the perks of what a cam gives you. Pull that back. Oh, what a save. I like this. Like the runners now for the opposition are in line with my defence and not ahead of them. So it's a lot easier to track the runs. You're not giving them the head start that 100 depth does. Look at this. I'm running with him now. And again, running with him. That's what we want. Lovely. Love how Alba pushed for that. It's a great play. <laughs> that was an awesome animation, that was. Okay, Lavon's through. And that's four. I think that's going to be pretty much a safe win for us now from here on out. I can't see this guy getting four against a five back. Okay, moving into the second half. These tactics feel like they're really tuned in, especially for how I play the game. Like I say, the fast build-up is something you definitely can leave on. That is more personal preference. But the lowering of the depth, the getting the cam to just kind of stick to what he should be doing, that's really, really helped as well, I feel. Lovely from Levan. Ah, oh, stunning. This Levan card's awesome. I've specifically just gone out and bought this card. Just because one, I think it looks cool. And because of the jam of somebody like Kane, I thought, well, Levan's got the four-star capabilities and his format is very similar. So I thought I'd try him. And this is my first actual go using him in this video. And he's been really good. He's bagged lots of goals. Oh, 
And that's six. I mean, fair play to this guy. He's seeing it out. I respect it. <laughs> Beautiful interplay down this wing, isn't it? That you can get going. Let's pull him back so we can drop it back. Bring that inside. Over his head. Bang. Oh, what a goal. This is feeling really, really fluid now. Look at that for a press. We're straight in off of that. Oh, he's buried it. This Levan card's superb. Lovely clearing up there by Elba. There's a cam right in the hole. <clears throat> Gosh, my voice went weird then. <laughs> There's that getting behind instruction that Chickenfoot's put on working a treat. And that's nine. I kind of feel bad at this point. Like this guy, to be fair, has really stuck this out. First off, shout out to the Barca boys in Elba and Levan. It was my first time actually trying these in this video. And they performed exceptionally well. And Elba in particular in that wing back role for this 5-2-1-2 worked an absolute treat. Very nimble, very good defensively. Really, really solid card. As far as the tactics go though, guys, I think it started off as a really strong idea. And I think the way I've tweaked it has made them some really like strong methods to tactics to be honest and I really didn't have to tweak much so chicken foot put together a really nicely formatted formation here the 100 depth was the first thing that definitely needed to come down I love the idea and that idea of just being really aggressive but the problem is with 100 depth when you've got someone that's very good at utilizing threading through like lengthy runners like Kane they almost are in a position where they've got a head start because your center backs are so high up so where that's concerned, 65 for me is a sweet spot where you can still play that very aggressive style, but you're starting at the same point as that runner and you're not too far up, so you are able to catch them. So 65 depth for me was a good tuning point to play that 100th depth idea, but in a way that is very effective. I did tweak the instruction of the cam, taking him off of the free roam, having him on the stick to position. It just really helps when you've threaded through two strikers who are on a getting behind instruction to have the cam always there in between them to drop the ball back to. We're on the, when they're on free roam and they might take up a position on the wing, they might drop back, they might push forward more. You never really know where they're going to be, but to have a cam always in the cam spot is invaluable because you've always got someone to cut the ball back to always it's always a passing option for a one two it's always an option on goal when you're in the box when you're working the ball so cam treat them like a cam i don't like making them do a different thing you know play, play a cam true to a cam last but not least changing it from the fast build up to balanced as you could see from the two games it was night and day for me i felt way more comfortable creating chances on the balanced however if you're someone that plays that harry hesketh style where you literally go forward and you don't look back. Whatever you do, you know, you are going bombing for the goal. And yeah, go with fast build-up. But if you're literally not obscenely direct, I would switch it to balanced. But other than those three tweaks, I think this was a really, really strong set of tactics. And I personally feel the way I've tweaked them, for me, might be better than the 5-2-1-2 I actually have on the channel. So there is that. I think this is a really really good set of 5212 custom tactics it felt really competitive and i actually might keep this set up for the time being as my more attacking five back that i can switch to i will link my custom tactics playlist in the description if there are any custom tactics that you do want to check out if you do want to be involved in the series just let me know your custom tactics in the comments and i'll get around to doing them in a video for you as always though guys if you did make it this far in the video i really appreciate your time if you did enjoy it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn your bell on Take care, guys.